What's up, everybody? The CEO, the money maker, the one and only Storm Taker, baby. And I'm back with another mother loving video, guys. And for this one, we got something real interesting for y'all. I know you already saw the title, you already saw the thumbnail. But for this one, we will be ranking every single hero equipment. We got a tier list ready. Grab some popcorn. Comment down below your favorite hero equipment guys i'll be replying to each and every comment also drop a like on the live stream guys we have this unique feature for everybody that likes the stream they get a million dollars so figure it out if it works and let's jump on into the tier list guys shout out to mr dingle for this these nuts <laughs> got him background behind me guys if you ever want to get your background featured in one of my videos guys all you got to do is jump into the clan at storm clouds y'all welcome to join baby and let's have some fun hey guys so we got the tier list up first and foremost we got s a b c d that's how we'll be ranking each and every hero equipment guys we got everything here i hope i think there's everything here if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, I think there's everything here. If I do miss one, guys, I'll ha I'll pause the video, add it back. Don't worry, guys. All right. So first things first, we got the Archer Puppet. Uh, I would say personally, not pretty useful when you go to higher tunnels because we got so much um, we got so much scatter shot damages um. So we got like wizard towers, we got scatter shots, we got so much stuff to do splash damages, not making it viable in the low, higher townhouse. So I'm gonna go with D. Also, I'm gonna do the same with the Barbarian Puppet puppet. I even think the Barbarian Puppet puppet is worse than the Archer Puppet. At least archers are a little bit better than Barbarians. Alright, so we got D right there, both going in D. That's our starting of the season. I don't even know what I'm saying. Now we got the Quake Boots. The Quake Boots. It is an interesting one since that it opens up the base for the king to go in. Uh, I don't see it being used that practical, that useful, because uh, you can get super wall breakers, wall wreckers. There's so much stuff you can do. So I'm going to say it's a uh, it's solid. I'm not, not even, I wouldn't say it's a B tier. B tier is way too high. I'm going to go with C tier. Uh, we got what? The Eternal Tomb. No questions need to be asked. Solid S tier. Guys, if you don't know what the Eternal Tome does, this stops you from dying. You're invincible for a period of a couple seconds, guys, and you can take no damage. If you're new to Clash of Clans, this, you have to be rocking this on your Grand Warden. Now we got the most controversial pick of all of them, guys, and it is the Fireball. The, the Fireball, guys, I think it's pretty unique. But I say it's very situational. For per personally, I think it's a very situational um, ability with the Grand Warden. Since that, if you pop it, you pop your Eternal Tome if you're running the Eternal Tome. You'll pop um, your Healing Tome if you're running the Healing Tome. So, so far, I say it's very situational. I don't think it's C tier, but it's going to be low bit B tier once you get other B tiers up there. Uh, Frost Arrow frozen arrow i say it's pretty good i don't use it that often because i personally i prefer the giant arrow uh but i think a lot of people like it um it's like a passive ability it gives the queen uh the uh, freezing everything i don't really think i'm ever gonna use it that much but i would say i'll put it in uh, a b tier two personally and guys, this is also my opinion. Please comment down below your own tier list, guys. I want to see whatever y'all come up with. Come up with everything because you know daddies be watching. All right, Giant Arrow, guys. I think the Giant Arrow is very skill gap. It's very it has a high skill gap. So you have to be able to know how to use it. That being said, I'm not ranking this list on how easy it is to use. I'm ranking this list on my personal uh, opinion on how useful this is and I think the giant arrow is a solid top A tier for me guys uh, the ability it, I see it helping me anytime even if it's no I don't want to take out a specific um, building it helps me getting that extra damage off when I pop it with a queen especially with uh, the invisibility vial I love it I say the giant gauntlet solid also S tier right behind the eternal tome does everything what the king needs everything the king needs and i believe this is what this is the haze vial this is a new haze vial on the rc uh again i would say it's very it's i think the spoiler guys i think the rc's original abilities are better than everything they've come up with so far 
But I'm gonna say I'm gonna put it um at, I don't even think it's I wouldn't go with um B tier. You know what? I say wait, is this a rage valve? No, this is not a rage valve. I would say it haze valve. I would say it B tier below the fireball for now. Alright, now we got a healer puppet. The healer puppet is very also situational. It's like spawns three healers. It gives you that mini queen walk. I can see it being used, uh, but again, you barely see it being used because they, it's why not just get a couple healers if we're gonna do a queen walk already. So I'm gonna say it's C tier above the Quake Boots. Healing tome healing tome, I say is a good tome. Definitely I think it's good. I just think that it's outshined by the um by the um I can't remember the name of it now. But the other tome. The other tome is definitely better. Alright, but I would say it's solid A tier. I'll put it be below the giant arrow. Just because I would rather just rock healing spells more than have it. Because I don't, don't want to press and activate the Grand Warden's ability. I want to save it for the Eternal Tome when I activate the Eternal Tome. A Hog Rider Puppet. I would say below the... Uh, let's 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 switch this up. Let's put this in um, B tier. And let's put Hog Rider Puppet. I'll put Hog Rider Puppet in C tier. I'm going to go with C tier. I don't really see the usefulness of the Hog Rider Puppet. Uh, those hogs are going to get wiped out. I just see them being a temporary distraction for like two seconds. Might as well not have them. Have Why not give me some health back on my RC? One of the other abilities. I got the... We got the the invisibility vial, solid S tier, guys, right behind the giant gauntlet. I think this ability should never be removed off the queen, guys. I don't think I've ever removed this ability once since I've been using the queen, guys. This is W ability and should always be activated on your queen to keep her alive. All right, this is the life gem. I would say also the life, th this is very controversial. Very controversial, guys, but I do prefer the Rage Gem over the Life Gem. Since that I have that Eternal Tome, that extra damage being pushed out, I prefer that. So for the Life Gem, I'm going to put it in uh, B tier. And I'll put the Rage Gem in A tier. Alright, and now we have the Rage Vial on the King. I think the... I think... I know, not think. I know the... Giant Gauntlet does a better damage output, basically. I don't even I don't have damage output, but I just feel like it's a superior version of the Rage Vial. So the Rage Vial is definitely falling down. I'll put the Rage Vial behind the Frozen Arrow, and I'll put it right there in B tier. All right. Now we got the RC ability, Seeking Shield. I would say Seeking Shield is definitely an S tier ability right up there. Uh, Vamp Stash. Uh, also, I would say is an S tier. I'll put it above the Seeking Shield right there. I think the Vamp Stash is one of the best. The, the, the Barbarian King is eating, guys. The Barbarian King is eating. He's got two S tier abilities up here, guys. Two solid S tier abilities up here. And we got a Vamp Stash. I think the Vamp Stash works perfectly and does exact encapsulate what the Barbarian King should do, and that's being a tank. And also, finally, I would say um, I will go A tier right behind the Rage Vile. Guys, so that is my ranking. I know this is a shorter video. Shout out to Aggro for this uh, tier list. down As you can see, Aggro there. Um, but let me know, guys, what's your tier list. And I'm out of here. Peace. Make love.